Hey everyone, Nerdy Noob here, and I have another unboxing video for you. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing, um, well, it's a different subscription box. I actually just signed up for it. It is called uh, Nature Box. Sorry, they have my shipping address on here. Nature Box! So, I heard about this box. I was watching a lot of YouTube videos, and this box came up a few times, and I was a little bit intrigued because, again, I really like snack items, and none of the current boxes that I'm getting are full of snack items like sometimes they'll have like a snack item here or a snack item there but there's never like a ton of snack items so I thought I would try this box out and it was really cool because I actually got this this box for free um, when you go to sign up for nature box they will give you your first box for free which is cool um, after this month though they will start charging me um, $19.95 for this box so they have two different sizes when you go to purchase they have the five item box which is this for $19.95 and then they have a three item box which is $13.95 and then there's three different actual like options of how often you want to get a box. You can get it once a week, you can get it every two weeks, or you can get it once a month. So I thought for right now I would just try it out. So I have this box once a month and again I got the five item one. And this one's really cool because you actually get to pick your item. So I can tell you what I have in here, um, but I think it'd be more fun just to pull it out and show you. So we're gonna go ahead and get this box open. I'll put all the pricing stuff that I just explained about in the description below just in case you're interested in purchasing this box. So once you cut open the box, this is what you're going to see. Oh, oh, there's so many like postcard things. Okay. So here, here we go. And I would consider these basically like full size items. They're pretty big actually. So it popped out with two postcards. The first one is just a paper receipt and it tells you the items that you picked. And then this is a postcard that says, this is like instructions on how to pick which items that you want. I'm assuming reoccurring. So along with the, they have like a hundred different snack items you can pick. A lot of them are sweet stuff, but I picked all savory things. Um, you basically pick what you want, you add it to your pantry. And then they also have add-ons, which I almost got. And then I got smart about it and was like, why would I pay $5 for a teeny tiny thing of turkey jerky when I could just go to the store and get turkey jerky for $5? So I didn't get that. <laughs> And then you can also just have them personalize it, like you can do recommended for you, and then I guess it just recommends snacks based on your profile. I don't really know how that works. The real reason I'm unboxing this video right now, because it's pretty late, is because I want to be able to take these things to work tomorrow and eat them. So, I'm excited. Alright, the first item is Parmesan Garlic Pop Pops. It's Parmesan Garlic Popcorn Kernels. Kernels. For some reason when I picked this I thought it was like popcorn, but that's okay because I love the kernels. Like the ones that are like not completely not open, but the ones that are like a little bit open so they're still crunchy and they're good. I love those. So when you open it, they look like this. I can't really see it, but it basically looks like half formed popcorn kernels. Like ones that have sort of popped. And this is garlic parmesan flavored. It's not my favorite thing in the whole world, but I could totally eat these. The parmesan's pretty strong. This would be a really good, just like, quick snack. Alright, the next item that I got is jalapeno white cheddar popcorn. These are very similar items. I think I was just going through and trying to pick like the most savory sounding items that I could. Okay, that took me forever to open. Oh, I'm already excited about these. Mmm, they smell like jalapeno. So these look really well seasoned. I don't know if you can tell if you can see those green specks. I love cheddar popcorn. Oh. <laughs> these are surprisingly really spicy. I love spicy food. These are pretty spicy. I wasn't expecting that. Mmm. I could keep eating these. I'm one of those people that goes to the farmer's market. I'll drive like 30 minutes to the farmer's market just to get cheddar popcorn. Uh, it's from the people who make the kettle corn, but they have cheddar popcorn. Mm. I love cheddar popcorn. All right, the next item is Sriracha Cashew Crunch. Now, here's the thing. I don't really like cashews, but I love Sriracha. And so I didn't originally have these in my pantry or cart or whatever they call it, but 
I ended up getting them because I always get intrigued by things that are sriracha flavored. I have yet to find anything that's really sriracha flavored that's as good as the actual hot sauce. Oh, this is awkward looking. Uh, spicy clusters of cashews and rice with Peruvian corn. Oh, that's odd. Okay. So what it looks like is, oh, so here's like the cashew crunch. And then there's like these big, they look like giant corn nuts. And then, I don't know which, I guess maybe the rice stuff is connected to the cashew. I'm not sure. All right, let's try this out. My mouth is still a little bit spicy from the popcorn. These are like sweet. I don't like these. I don't even think they're spicy. I really, again, I can't tell though because I just had the popcorn. Maybe they might be a little bit spicy. These taste nothing like corn nuts and they're sweet. It was weird. I was really expecting something like spicy and salty and these are like sweet. They taste like corn nuts though. Like giant, big, stale corn nuts. The next item that I have is sour cream and onion almonds. Onion and garlic flavored almonds. I also don't really like almonds, but I love onion and garlic, so I figured I would just go for it and try it out. My dad used to get the smokehouse almonds that had like whatever smokehouse seasoning, and I used to just, this is terrible, I used to like suck the seasoning off the almond and just spit the almond out. And I'm really not gonna lie because I was just over at his house last week and he had a big container of them and I totally did the same thing. I tried to pick out the most seasoned almond and I sucked all the seasoning off and then I threw the almond away. I know, I'm such a waster. So these are like almond slivers, they're not full almonds or anything like that. Here's the thing about Nature Box. I'm pretty sure that it's supposed to be like healthy snacks, which is probably why I'm not the biggest fan of all of these things. These almonds are okay. They're okay. I would much rather eat the Maui onion macadamia nuts or even those smokehouse almonds that I was just telling you about. These ones aren't very seasoned. There's like a small hint. It could definitely use some salt. All right, the last item that I have are Asiago and cheddar cheese crisps. I hope that these are delicious. I'm pretty sure they sell things like this at the store. These are good. These have a really good cheese flavor. I wish there was a little bit more cheese, but you can taste the Asiago and you can taste the cheddar. I like these. So there you have it. This was, I'm going to call this the 2015, well, technically I got this in August because I just got this today. So I'll call it the 2015 August Nature Box. Again, I had the Asiago and cheddar cheese crisps. Crisps. I had the sour cream and onion almonds. Whoa. I had the sriracha cashew crunch. I had the jalapeno white cheddar popcorn. And then I had the parmesan garlic pop pops. Uh, if I had to rank these items with how much I liked them, I'd probably say that the jalapeno white cheddar popcorn is number one. And then I really like the Asiago cheddar cheese crisps. And then probably, I guess the Parmesan garlic pop pops and then these two items are tied for last place the uh, Sriracha cashew crunch and the sour cream and onion almonds. I wasn't a huge fan of these um, I don't know if I like this box. I love snack items and I like these are okay You can taste the healthiness to them and I'm not a super healthy person I should be but I'm not and I feel like I would probably have better luck with this box if I tried to stick with like more of the sweet items because they had a ton of options of like different types of sweet items. Um, I obviously went for the savory items, but I don't know if this box specializes in that. This stuff wasn't too bad, but it's just not, it's not as tasty as I would have liked. If I had to rate this box, I mean for what the box is, I actually think this is, you know, when I, if I had to pay $20 for these, that's not too bad, honestly. Um, that comes out to be $4 for each bag. That's not too bad. And these are, I think this stuff is supposed to be like healthy. I don't know too much about like the health of it, but I'm pretty sure this stuff is supposed to be somewhat healthy. 
And so, I mean, for that, in that sense, then this box is pretty good, and I'd probably give it, mm, probably like a three and a half or four maybe a four out of five um if you were like looking at it for the standpoint of what it is but for me personally i would probably just give this a three um this box was free technically so i guess in that sense too it's like a five but if i paid twenty dollars for this box then i would probably just rank it a three i think what i'll do is change out some of the items and maybe i'll switch it to like sweet items some of the ones that sound more appealing to me and then i'll try that out for one month since I'd, i'll pay for it for one month and then I'll see if I still like it, and if not, then I'll just cancel it. Um, I know there's so many different types of snack boxes out there, so I think I just have to find the right one, like the one that fits me. Now, here's the thing. If, like, Munch Pack or Japan Cray or Tokyo Tree or whatever other snack boxes I'm currently subscribed to had an option of just snack items, uh, I would totally go for that. I would love that. Um, I know most people tend to lean more towards the the sweet items which is obviously why all those boxes have tons of candy and like sweet things but man if there was like a snack box that just was like either Asian snacks or even any kind of snacks really I'd be totally down for that so if you know of anything let me know in the comment section below because I will totally try to subscribe to that for sure Alright, so that was my 2015 August Nature Box. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go ahead and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and I have a whole bunch more that I'm going to be posting after this video. So definitely check back and subscribe if you'd like. That way you get notifications when I put up new videos. I guess that's all I have for you now. I just want to say thank you so much to all of you who have been watching all of my videos and commenting and subscribing. It's been a blast getting back to you guys and getting to know you guys through the comments. So keep it up. Um, again, I appreciate it, and I will see you guys later. Bye.